so many of these playlists are fake. Like people can easily just go yeah. by playlist followers. So that is huge that you're able to pre-vet them to assure that they're actually driving authentic consumption. Definitely. It's it's a huge problem. And I mean, I've been in this space for six years now and I've seen how it's changed over time and it's kind of unfortunate, but we've been lucky enough to have the experience to kind of go in and, and have the knowledge to kind of vet each one. And we do it manually still. We have ways of doing it automated, but manually, we also kind of dive in there and make sure that everyone's real. And we actually establish a relationship with each curator too. So as they're coming in, we're asking them, hey, how did you grow your playlist? Provide us screenshots. And that kind of helps us really suss out who's kind of in it for finding great music and making great playlists and mm -hmm. who's in it for other kind of uh, reasons. And so that's kind of how we do it. But, you know, on top of all of it, I think it's the data that kind of keeps everything moving. And that allows us to move into like new areas that we're going into, like digital advertising and SEO, all becoming possible because of the data that we have on our platform. Yeah. And I just want to stress, I feel like, you know, your platform is really legit. You're definitely taking the right measures. Even what you said, the playlisters going in there for the right reason. I remember some other sites, how I even really found out about them was because they were marketing that you can make money off of your side hustle as being a playlist curator. Yeah. And as an artist, that's not beneficial. You don't want someone who's just there trying to, yeah, to make yeah. money off of their playlist. You want someone that like is actually trying to grow their playlist, has some type of either tie or platform that, you know, brings them within the music industry. So I, I definitely really respect that from Playlister Club. 